What's up everybody? This is your man Gillis the Kid. I'm back with another video and this time I'm going to be showing you the Shenmue collection. Now the first thing I want to tell you guys about Shenmue, a lot of people didn't have a Sega Dreamcast back in the day, especially when they found out like the Sony PlayStation 2 was coming out. But the Sega Dreamcast was a terrific system and this is one of the games that came out on it. This game was released in 1999. It's called Shenmu. It was directed by Yu Suzuki. It was directed by, directed and produced by Yu Suzuki. And it was produced by like Sega and AM2. And like I said, it came out in 1999 on the Sega Dreamcast. This is what the original cover looked like. It had the Sega Dreamcast logo on the side. It also featured something called a VGA box. And a VGA box was something you connected to the Sega Dreamcast just to up the resolution. It's a single player game. It's about this kid named Ryo Hazuki. He lives in Japan and he practices jujitsu with his father. Then one day this guy, Lan D, I believe his name is called, he comes over, murders his father and take something called the Dragon Mirror. And then that sets off a chain of events to make Ryu wants to get res uh, revenge on his father's death. But it's an awesome game. It's also one of the most expensive games ever made. Well, not ever made, but one of the most expensive games at a whopping $47 million. Every character in this game has a voice. They also go about their own ways. They'll go to work. Uh, people will drive around. There's not many cars, but you'll see some vehicles. And then, you know, there's also gangs and stuff like that. But the gameplay is very good. The music is phenomenal. And it's just an all-around classic. For those of you who never had a Sega Dreamcast or have never played this game, definitely give it a try. It's a it's an instant classic. I can't stress that enough. It's also one of the first games that I've seen that says like the use of tobacco and alcohol. And back in like, you know, when I was in uh, grade school, I, I just thought that was cool. I, I like never seen anything like that. I seen the mature titles but I've never seen uh, like use of tobacco and alcohol. I just found that like very funny. So this came out in 1999, and then they had this game, which is Shenmue 2. This came out on uh, the original Xbox in 2002. It was ported over from, what the hell did this come on? I can't remember. But it was ported over to the original Xbox. And this game, uh, in my opinion, is even better than the first one. Some people like uh, the first Shenmue. I like the second one. Uh, now, it has been confirmed that there's going to be a Shenmue 3 coming out on PlayStation 4 next year, which I'm very excited about. Uh, we'll get to that in a second, though. But I found this game in ShopRite in the packaging for like ten dollars so that was that was like really really lucky for me to even find that so now on august 21st which was like this past tuesday now they have shenmue 1 and 2 re-released in hd so that completely blew my mind because you know Back in 1999, the Sega Dreamcast had something called GD-ROMs, and there was only so much you can put on one of those discs. When Shenmue first came out, it was released in like three discs. It also had something called like a passport disc, but nobody really cared too much about that because the internet was very limited. You know, we had to deal with all that like dial-up bullshit back in the 90s. The internet just wasn't there yet. But, like I said, this game was well ahead of its time. But now, 
for 30 bucks, you can go out and you can get Shenmue 1 and 2 for the Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and the PC. So, I mean, definitely give this a try. If you've never had a Sega Dreamcast or you've never played this game, please pick this game up. You will not be disappointed. Now, another thing I want to tell you is... Oh, yeah. So, you know... Shenmue 1 comes out, and then Shenmue 2 comes out, and then for like 15 years, we hear nothing about this game. Uh, I believe the Sega Dreamcast was like discontinued after the PlayStation 2. They had a couple of titles that was still released for it, but, you know, after the Sega Dreamcast was discontinued, you know, a lot of people wanted Shenmue to come back. It was just one of those classics that everyone loved. So then, like, you know, I was online, and then I heard, like, these people were starting, like, a Kickstarter. And then they, I think they gathered, like, a million dollars or something like that. Something crazy. And then it went from one million to two million to three million to four. And then Yu Suzuki at uh, one of these events, I forget which one it was, he came on stage and then he said, you know, if you if you can donate or make enough money, you know, I'll make Shenmue 3. And they did it. They surpassed the Kickstarter. So, you know, I found that to be very cool that he would just, you know, after 15 years, just come back out and say, hey, you know, I'm going to I'm going to finish this chapter. I'm going to finish this story and my vision about this game. I think it was one of the most, like, popular games of, like, the late 90s. I don't want to say a cult, but there was, like, a lot of people that, you know, really liked to see this game come back into light. And now here you have it, 15 years later. You know, I was in seventh grade when the first Shenmue came out. Now I'm 34, and here we have it. Shenmue 1 and 2 re-released. So hopefully, you know, I always joked with my friends like, hey, you know, I don't want to wait like another 15 years for another Shenmue game to come out. But it has been confirmed that Shenmue 3 is coming out next year on the PlayStation 4 and PC, I might add. Now, the reason it's coming just to PlayStation 4 is because, you know, there was some legal things going on with Kickstarter and Yu Suzuki. Another reason is, and this is just something that I've been thinking about, but in Japan, you know, Xbox doesn't do that well. It hasn't sold very well over there. It's it's like non-existent. Nobody in Japan really likes Xbox in Japan, it's all about Sony PlayStation. So, you know, I guess I can see why they went ahead to make Shinmu 3 on PlayStation 4. But you never know. Yu Suzuki said, hey, you know, I'm, I might be working with Microsoft in the future. And after this game is released on PlayStation 4, who knows? They might just release it on Xbox One. You know... By that time, it might be too late, though. Everybody might have it on PlayStation 4. But, uh, you know, back in the day, Yu Suzuki was like, yeah, there's going to be seven chapters to this game. It's going to be really, really long. Now, he's become a little bit more reasonable. Like, he's thinking a little bit clearly now. Like, come on, seven games? So now he's thinking about, like, maybe, like, five chapters. So you got 1 and 2 here. You got Shenmue 3 coming out next year. Hopefully after that, we'll have like 4 and 5, and then I guess that'll be it. But definitely give this ooh, definitely give this game a try. Um, so the last thing I want to talk about is like my channel. First and foremost, I want to thank everybody for watching, all my subscribers. Thanks for all your support. I'm going to have some more... Nintendo GameCube walkthroughs coming up pretty soon and some more Sega Dreamcast. 
Now, Shenmu is probably going to be my longest walkthrough that I ever do. So bear with me on that one. I'm going to have some Shenmu gameplay coming up next month before Tomb Raider releases. And hopefully before Spider-Man releases. Because I, I definitely want to play those two games. But that's all I got for now. Um, you know, give this game a try. It's phenomenal. I, I'm not lying. I can't stress that enough. And I want to thank, you know, all the Shenmue supporters. It's very rare that a lot of people will get together and donate and have something like this come back to light 15 years ago. So I just want to thank all the Shenmue people out there, all the fans. And like I said, for all you young, younger generation out there, definitely give this game a try. It's really that good. But that's all I got for now. My name is Gillis the Kid. I want to thank you guys for watching. I'm going to have some more gameplay walkthroughs coming up pretty soon. And as always, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.